Hi guys, um, just a quick Cheetah 3D tip today for you, and that is get your hotkeys set up. Um, hotkeys or shortcut keys, whatever you want to call them, they're definitely worth doing because they'll speed up your workflow and allow you more modeling time and less time messing with menus. So, I've got a Cheetah dock here. If you don't know how to set them up, you just come up to Cheetah 3D up here, go to Preferences, and then click on, should be on General, click on Keyboard. So you've got a list of commands, and then you just click on the command you want and assign it a key. Okay, so I'll run you through a few of the ones that I use quite a bit. Um, I have all the numeric keys, so 1, 2, 7, I believe, set to the different views. So as I'm just clicking the keyboard, 1 through 7, you can see it's changed a view up here. Key would probably not the best model to show you that with, but just jumping in and out of perspective and camera there, 1 and 2. Really useful, that. Uh, spacebar I have set to toggle the modes, as you can see, either up here or on the model. You just see it's just cycling through the modes. Quite quite a nice one to have that as well. And let's have a look at a few of the other main ones that I use are things like um, A for area select. That just allows me to drag over. Then T to get back to transform so I can mess about with what I've selected there. X for ring cut. You don't have to use the same naming convention I use, even though I've just said X for ring cut, I do try and adopt a alphabetical approach to my shortcuts. Um, so things like extrude are set to E. I'll show you that now. Inner extrude I, extrude E, cover C, to transform so I can pull that. <coughs> and cover that one and then pull it up. So it's quite useful. I'm just gonna step back a few steps there. Um, loop select L. Going to edge mode to show you that. Loop select there. Um, just going to put a few more cuts in. One there. Using ring cut X. Ring select. Got set to R. See that's selecting the ring of edges around there. It was. It is again there. A few others that I have. I have bridge set to B. Uh, create polygon set to P. What else have I got? Those are probably the main modelling ones that I use. Um, by all means, set up what you want. In Cheetah's preferences system, there's absolutely loads you can do. You can either have it create parametric objects for you, so that you can just drop a cube in the scene or whatever. You can even have your modifiers. It's pretty much everything. It's so customizable. Uh, get yourself a system so you'll be able to remember them easily. The alphabet one works for me. Um, mine not for you. Um, but yeah, do that because you will to be a lot quicker with Cheetah by um, getting these set up and even if you're a beginner I'd, I'd definitely recommend doing that and just getting used to it straight away. So that's it for today, I'll be back with more tutorials soon and don't forget there's loads of stuff on my site at mac3dsoftware.com I've just launched a new um, introduction to character modelling tutorial the other day um, so go and take a look at that and thanks for watching guys.